the Studio Brass are here. This one comprehensive package will meet all your orchestration needs for the brass section. Check out this video to find out what studio means in the VSL's terminology, as Paul explains it way better than I do. Anyway, let's give it a go. Let's begin with the two solo trumpets. The trumpet in C has more attack options. This is the normal attack, the soft attack, and the marcato attack. And molto vibrato. And with the market attack, you also get the vibrato options, senza vibrato, poco vibrato, and molto vibrato. Long notes now. You know what this is, right? The trumpet in B-flat has some more options for the long notes. So jazzy! Legatus for the trumpet in C. We even have some jazzy portamento options for the trumpet in B flat. Definitely not your classical trumpet, right? Let's check the dynamics now. I will use the Trumpet C Distant preset, but of course you have many other presets available. One of the most interesting ones is this one, the Mere Unprocessed. There is no reverb attached to the sample in the Synchron Player, and you can use it as you like with your Mere Pro 3D. Crescendos from various intensities, light, medium, and strong, with various durations. (laughs) 
some diminuendos as well. Of course, some flirt tongue options. And we have speed variations for the trills. the performance repetitions various types of fast repetition and in various tempos. Beats and grace notes in various tempos as well. I already did that for the studio orchestral strings, but I can't help myself. Scale runs always useful and always impressive. Arpeggios as well. Now your three trumpets play your playing together. Long notes. Dynamics.
Flutter Tonks. Some performance repetitions. Talking about fast repetitions. Scale runs. Time for the two solo horns of this package, the triple horn and the Viennese horn. Interesting feature for the Viennese horn, we have the regular and the stopped sound. This is when the horn player puts his hand inside the instrument to change the sound and the pitch. Let's play some long notes. And what does the lyrical thing? So clear, so precise. Legato's my favorite moment.
I got chills. <laughs> Dynamics. Second variation. Not to mention, we have some stopped sound. Not the same sound at all. Huh? Flutter tongue. Lip trills. Oh boy, that's so hard to do. Performance repetitions. Fast repetitions. performance glissando slow up okay so you need to play it does that works backward yes and now the full horn section for players notes.
some flutter tongue now. Performance repetitions. Fast repetitions, various speeds as usual. Oh, performance upbeats. Of course, some glissandos. Takato arpeggios. Nice. Okay, let's check the two solo trombones, the tenor and the bass one. Legatos. Some nice dynamics. Threatening flutter tongue. Bass trombone playing flutter tongues it must be spectacular. And it is. Ouch! <laughs>
fast repetitions. Lots of tempos for the upbeats. Glissandos. Now let's talk about the trombone ensemble. Alright, dynamics for the trombone. Flutter tongue. performance repetitions fast repetitions for the trombones Let's check all the different tempos for, for the beats. Thank you. 
how cool is that? We even have clusters. Oftenly overlooked, and that's a bit unfair, the tuba. We have some con sordino variations. Do you only imagine the size of the sordino? Let's explore all the vibrato options. And now we're talking tuba legato. Dynamics for the tuba. Flutter song. Flutter tongue concertino. A beat and grace notes. Alright, hope that video has been helpful and I wish you lots of fun and great music with your Studio Brass.